ang subayon ang nagkahinay nga dagan sa masakinan diha sa Banilan ug Talamban area ug laos na sa Archbishop Reyes Avenue paingon na sa Gorordo Avenue daan yang gitataw nga daily na lingkuran ang posisyon sa pagka-chairman sa TMC Nangayong og suporta si Cebu City Mayor Michael Rama sa mga mayor sa probinsya sa Subo aron makasalmot sa Sinulog 2024 gamay tabo sa sunod buwan. Kinitood kay andam usab silang mutabang sa higayong magpaigay na usab ang kalungsuran o ilang kaugalingong kalihukan may labot ang Sinulog. Siyang live streaming, gibutyag di Rama na kinanlang masuportan sa mga kalungsuran ang gidamgun yang kalampusan sa Sinulog gamay tabo sa sunod buwan. Daan ang namahayag ang mayor Korea sa mga mayor sa Subo nga ila lang suportahan ang pagpaigayon sa Sinulog Grand Parade diha lang sa Cebu City Sports Complex. Dugang pa ni Rama nga aduna lang sila giandam nga checklist alang sa mga pagpangandam sa Sinulog Grand Parade nga ipahigayon gihapon sa South Road Properties. Mabot sa 19 ka mga firecracker related injuries ang natala sa Department of Health din sa Central Visayas. Base kini sa datos gilang nadawat na atong Disyembre 28 diin, lima ang nadugang sa maong ihap. Ana sa lima ang naigo sa pabuto din sa Dakbayan sa Subo, walo sa probinsya sa Subo, upat sa Bohol, ug tag-usa ka mga kaso sa Negos Oriental o Mandawe City. Sagad sa mga naigo sa pabuto, mga bata o naitabu ang maong insidente sulod sa ilang panimay. Gilauman sa Department of Health 7 nga madugangan pa ang ihap sa mga nabuthan ning naginangat nga bagong tuig. Soban pa mga balita, Department of Education din sa Rion 7, bangita o ubang tunghaan alang sa laing pilot implementation sa matatag curriculum karong unang quarter sa tuig 2024. Ipaubos sa laing pilot implementation ang grades 2, 5, o 8. Aniya ang maong kasayuran. Alang sa masayon nga pagpatumad sa bagong matatag curriculum sa Department of Education 7, mangita sila og lay mga tunghaan alang sa laing hugna sa pilot implementation. Sugdan kini karong first quarter 2024, din pipila ka mga tunghaan ang magsugod sa pilot implementation sa mga curriculum sa grades 2, 5, o 8. Mato ni Regional Director Dr. Salustiano Jimenez, Nagituyo nila kini aron dili ma-overwhelm ang mga tunghaan o magtutudlo sa higayong tumano ng bagong curriculum. Kinibisan pa man mas gipagaan na ang subject sa matatag curriculum, itandi sa gigamit karon ron ng K-12 curriculum. Next school year, all the schools shall be implementing the kinder grade 1, 4, and 7. Karong pulika, lima ka mga tunghaan sa Cebu Province ang gipaubos sa pilot implementation sa matatag curriculum yata sa grades 1, 4, ug 7. Kita ho ni Jimenez nga gihangop kini sa mga ginikanan o mga tinunan. Apan kung unsa man ang makita nga resulta sa pilot implementation sunod ng school year, ilakininghan ayon sa dilipa ang full implementation sunod tuig. We cannot say as to effectiveness of the uh, curriculum for now. Kay murag kwan uh, pa kay ba? Murag kadang sayura kayo. So it's too early to tell na effective siya. Menes Gasauna, nagkalisod ang mga magtutudlo sa pagpatuman sa matatag curriculum. Apan kadagoyan, naanadaman tungod sa ilang support system, sulod sa tunghaan. Gian Navarro, CCTN News. Usa ka 46 anyos nga lalaki kalit nga dibunlot og kutsilyo samtang sakay sa usa ka modern jeepney kini nakamugna og kalisang sa mga pasahero sud sa modern jeep samtang nagsubay sa Marcelo Fernandez Bridge kagahapon ang kasayuran niya to di Mary Rose Sagarino Mao kini ang modern jeep nga adunay ruta ing Ganyo Park Mall nga gisakyan sa mga pasahero nga nangalisang tungod sa kalit nga pagbunot og kutsilyo sa usa ka lalaki nga pasahero. Ang 46 anyos nga lalaki giingong nikalit og bunot og kutsilyo samtang nagbiyahi sa Marcelo Fernandez Bridge sa Habig sa Mandawi. Aso ni Isidro de la Cruz ang driver sa modern jeep nga misakay ang lalaki sa barangay Mactan, Dakbayan sa Lapu-Lapu. Matud niya nga maayo pa kini og ganay mibayad pangdaan sa iyang pliti apan pag-abot sa tunga-tunga sa bridge niingon kining 
ingon na og kay mo ambak sa taytayan dayon bunot sa kutsilyo og niingon nga dili pa gawson ang mga pasahero nga nagapalisang kanila hinuon wala kini ni tingon sa kutsilyo ngadto sa mga pasahero wala usab kini na ngayo og kwarta nana na siya ato bigro lagi mo ambak lagi na dire lang okay mo ambak og bridge pag ana na ko sakyan ana lungsong niingon naman siya nga ay mo daw kay mo daw nagpagawas ang kutsilyo pag lingit kutsilyo naman Tungod siya nahitabo, dayon gipaw ni Dela Cruz ang makina dayon naog sa sakyanan. Nihangyo gilayon kini sa usa ka motorista sa pagtawag og pulis. Si Neme Horora ang konduktor sa modern jeep ni Ingon, nga natroma siya sa nahitabo. Bisan pa wala sila pasakiti, apan siya kano ang nagdaog kwarta. Hindi ko kasabot lagi ka ng murakog na, hindi ko kasabot sa kong giba, thank you sir. As in, karun pa yung mag 3 years naman yung ko nangundog, pero karun pa yung experience ng Ingon na Katarungan sa lalaki nga wala siya plano nga pasakitan ang mga pasahero o gusto lang ni Ining nga tapuso ng iyang kinabuhi. Ako man silang ipadaplin mo. Padaplin na ko ba? Mga may magpunto sila. Mga may mga may mga may tao ba tao. Ang ako nga lagi lagi unta ato sir kay nasakay ko yung tuyo ginagawa sa kayo katong Matud niya ang residente siya sa barangay Magtan, syudad sa Lapu-Lapu o walay asawa. Tapuyin ako sa akong kinabuhi. Ito. Sa akong idadron, ikapuyin ako sa akong kinabuhi. O na ang... Huwag ko yung asawa. Huwag ko yung asawa. Huwag ko yung asawa. Mau nak angkat, mau ulang ke apa pun, deh bah? Mau ambak lagi tak lagi kau nya? Katung 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 polis, negali alim pun siapa? Sa pagkutlo ning balita, wala pa nasuta ang kaso nga posibleng ipasaka batok sa sospek. Sa inisyal nga investigasyon, dili hubog ang sospek o posibleng adunay problema. Pagkakot dito, naglingkod naman siya, bihis ganyan sa statement sa, sa driver o sa konduktor, nga dihara sa iyang gilingkuran. Katong iyang gilingkuran, maurag ito iyang gilingkuran, gikan papagsakay niya sa, sa Magtan, sa, ano, sa Lapu-Lapu. Tambag niya sa mga tao nga adunay na sinati og problema nga magpakaligon, magampo og dili mulang bigit sa ubang mga tao. Ya, di man ikalikayan, uh, life is full of uh, and problem. So na ay mang kaproblema ato lang kuan. O oh, mas maayo gani og maampo ta. O oh, sa Ginoo nga uh, lamdagan ta, hatagan tag maayo kuan ba. Kuan meta kuwisya sa atong kagulingon nga mag magdesisyon ta og unsa ang ayan nga himo dili na to para ato yang gingon nga moambak siya o yan nagaporisyo panon siya og ubag mga tao. So, mura na atong ikuan. So, labi na garoon, panahon, hapita New Year, o Pasko pa garoon. So, kinalang dili na itong gumpo ng ato ang paglipay-lipay. Huwag na ay problema sa kong kasulti na, di na kalikayan. Tao, problemado kita. But, atong ayokon lang, sulbaro na ito sa minayo ng pamahagi. Mary Ogos Sagarino, CCTN News. Huwag ka doon naglangkob sa ito mga balita sa alas 12. Sagan sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTN News and Current Affairs, ingon man sa itong news manager nga si Dennis Tabar, ako si Gian Navarro. At tangi ang itong Sire 47. Karun ka ng alas 5 sa hapon, hangto na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Musunod na sa Dibadugay, ang Santos Gamisa nga manukad live sa CCTN Chapel. Daghang salamat o mabungahong bangong tuig ka natong tanan. God who brings new life to birth in me.
rejoicing in my saving God. Who looks upon me in my state, and all the world will call me blessed. For God works marvels in my sight, and holy, holy is God's name. This live coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. of Christmas, we offer our intentions to the Lord as we reveal to Him the simplicity of our heart, hearts, minds, and intentions as the Holy Family in this Gospel reading present the child Jesus in the temple. And as we offer all these intentions in mind, it does also include the intentions of those who are commemorating their birthdays or anniversaries today. And also, we continue to pray for the needs of all those who tirelessly support the apostolate of CCT and through prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, and reassuring goodwill. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, Amen. and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and invisible God, who dispersed the darkness of this world by the coming of your light, look, we pray, with Syrian countenance upon us, that we may acclaim with fitting praise the greatness of the nativity of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> 
A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, the way we may be sure that we know Jesus is to keep his commandments. Whoever says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected in him. This is the way we may know that we are in union with him. Whoever claims to abide in him ought to walk just as he walked. Beloved, I am writing no new commandment to you, but an old commandment that you had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word that you have heard. And yet, I do write a new commandment to you, which holds true in him and among you. For the darkness is passing away, and the true light is already shining. Whoever says he is in the light, yet hates his brother, is still in the darkness. Whoever loves his brother remains in the light, and there is nothing in him to cause a fall. Whoever hates his brother is in darkness. He walks in darkness and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Speak loud 
the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, the parents of Jesus took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be contradicted. And you yourself, a sword will pierce so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Merry Christmas. Pagihapon. Our Gospel reading today actually is the proper reading with a particular feast that we call the presentation of the child Jesus in the temple. But this gospel reading has plenty of angles to take a look into. But I would rather have to take a simple dimension into this very beautiful gospel reading according to St. Luke. It has something to do with the offering that is actually mentioned in this particular narrative. But there is something that is not mentioned here. And what is that? Actually, the animal to be offered for the purification sacrifice of a woman who has just given birth is actually a lamb, carnero. But then in the book of Leviticus, there is a condition. If she cannot afford a lamb, she may offer a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. So this is just a one-sided dimension here that is presented. Now, just a little, a little trivia into this, but it's really a very interesting one. Ong muingon ganit ang two turtle doves. Asam na nato mahinom duman sa Christmas song. Oh, twelve days of Christmas. But don't don't you don't you think that that's the only version? There are there are other versions of the twelve days of Christmas, but the traditional the traditional lyrics actually is on the second day of Christmas, no? Two turtle doves. So it is not just something like it's a, it's a secular song. It actually recalls to mind this very gospel reading. Now, why is it about a pair of turtle doves and two young pigeons? This is the proper offering of a poor person. In other words, Jesus here is presented to the Lord in the temple to his father as a poor person. In the same way that St. Paul would say in his letter to the Philippians, though he was in the form of God, he did not deem equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself and was born like a slave and lived among us. No more nindut ka yung message diha po sa Christmas. The self-emptying of the Messiah, of the Son of God, living in poverty, and even in the offering of himself to the temple, he is offered in that particular understanding and in that particular status. So it is in, in poverty 
that we always find one beautiful dimension of Christmas. Ang Diyos nga nagpakatao na himong kabus. But then St. Paul would continue, by being poor, by becoming poor, he has enriched us. And so this is something that we have to rejoice as our responsorial psalm is actually encouraging us to rejoice precisely because this God who is so immense, no? He's so immense, he's so huge, he's so great. Did not siya masukod, but he came among us as a child and as a poor person. In fact, there is a very important uh, verse in the prophet Isaiah. Now, it is somewhere towards the end that so huge a God he is, but he came. Nga mainsaktora siya sa Osaka manger. No? Nagpakagamay siya. And this is also the same way reflected in the very personality of the Blessed Virgin Mary and Saint Joseph, whose humility is a reflection of their poverty as an offering to the Lord. And so hopefully as we continue this Eucharistic celebration, despite our poverty, there is always a richness in the way that we get ourselves involved in the prayers, in the liturgy, and in the many different and beautiful prayers that we offer to the Lord. Kaya nga naman, kana mga mga pag-ampo sa hay, labi ng santos nga misa, it's always in conflict with our time. It's always in conflict with what we want to do. Diba? So we have to become poor in order to give the time to be in the liturgical celebration, to be very much devoted in the prayers, in the novenas, and whatever we do, because this is the best offering we can give to the Lord, poor though we may be. Amen. Dear sisters and brothers, let us now pray that in this season of Christmas, we may share Simeon's joy while taking the child Jesus in his arms and praising God. And so we say, Lord, let us see your salvation. Lord, let us see your salvation. That the light of Christ's salvation may shine upon all nations, saving people from darkness of sin and unbelief, and from the fear of death, we pray. Lord, Lord let, let us see your salvation. salvation. That parents may recognize that their children belong to the Creator and whom they are to guide in the knowledge and love of the Lord, we pray. Lord, Lord let, let us see your, your salvation. salvation. That the elderly, like Simeon, may have the joy of seeing their dreams fulfilled in their children and grandchildren, we pray. Lord, let us see your salvation. That the presents and gifts of Christmas may give rise to an appreciation of the gift of Jesus' presence among us, we pray. Lord, let us see your salvation. That we may see our passing from this world as grace through which we enter the door of life eternal, we pray. Lord, let us see your salvation. Grant, Almighty God, that we who wait for the final revelation of your Son may experience your love in sending us, your beloved Son, as men like us in all things except sin, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
pray, dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. Just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through him the holy exchange that restores our life has shone forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive an ending honor, but by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, with Benefil and Ruben, his assistant bishops, all bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord. Be with you always. Let us now share with each other the sign of peace. Shalom. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, 
and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by the power of these holy mysteries, our life may be constantly sustained through Christ our Lord. To Señor Santo Nino. Oh, Señor, Señor Santo Nino, you are our King and our God. We worship you. You are our strong defender. We turn to you. You are the patron of Cebu and the Philippines. We come to you. You have made extraordinary wonders through your miraculous image. These chosen islands, remember us. Look down at this poor soul that comes to you for help. Lead us with your wisdom. Discipline us with your truth. Console us with your tenderness. Protect us with your might. We consecrate today our thoughts to you. Only with you shall they be occupied. Our words only of you shall they speak. Our sufferings that we may endure them for your sake. We beg you, Signor Santo Nino, illumine our understanding, kindle our will, cleanse our body, sanctify our soul. We wish what you wish, because you wish as you wish, as long as you wish. Grant us, Signor Santo Nino, that we may feel love toward you, be strict toward ourselves, be zealous toward our fellow men, and rightly despise the things of the world. Help us to overcome sensuality with strict discipline, avariciousness with generosity, anger with gentleness, indolence with zealous industry. Make us wise in counsel, courageous in danger, patient in adversity, humble in prosperity. Teach us, dear Santo Nino, how worthless is the world, how sublime is heaven, how brief is time, how long is eternity. Grant us lastly that we may remember you, adore you, love you, and serve you here on earth, that we may be happy with you forever and ever in heaven. Amen. Amen. In every need, let us come to you with humble trust. Santinio, help us. In all our doubts, perplexities, and temptations. Santinio, help us. In hours of loneliness, weariness, and trials. Santinio, help us. In the failure of our plans and hopes. Santinio, help us. In disappointments, troubles, and sorrows. Santinio, help us. When others fail us and your grace alone can assist us. Santinio, help us. When we throw ourselves on your tender love as our only refuge. Santinio, help us. When our heart is cast down by failure. Santinio, 
Santo Niño, when we are ill and our head and hands cannot work and we are lonely. Santo Niño, help us. When we feel impatient and our cross irritates us. Santo Niño, help us. Always, always in spite of weakness, faults, and shortcomings of every kind. Santo Niño, help us. Let us pray. O Santo Niño, who has said, ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. Give, we beseech you, to us who ask the gift of your divine love, that we may love you with our whole heart, in word and work, and never cease from showing forth your praise. Make us, O Lord, to have a perpetual fear and love of your holy name, for you never fail to govern them, whom you do solemnly establish in your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O miraculous Santo Nino, standing before your sacred image, we beseech you to cast a merciful look at our troubled hearts. Let your tender love so inclined to pity, be suffered at our prayers, and grant us that grace for which we ardently implore you. Take from us all unbearable affliction and despair. For your sacred infancy's sake, hear our prayers and send us consolation and aid that we may praise you with the Father and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Holy Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family.